Now let's look at the NRA quota, the eligibility and documents we'll look at. So first we'll look at the eligibility. Who will be eligible for the NRA quota? So a lot of candidates call up and ask us, uh, Sir, uh, I want to take up the NRA seat. Will I be able to uh, take this seat? Okay. But they don't have anyone there in their relative who is an NRA who will be able to sponsor them, right? In that case, they will not be able to take up the NRA seat. So either your uh, parent or your blood relatives should sponsor you, only then you will be able to take up the NRA seats. So let's look at the NRA eligibility. First thing is the candidate is an NRA. So if a candidate is an NRA, then automatically they will be able to take the NRA seat. Second thing is, uh, if the candidate is not NRA, so the candidate uh, is living in India, they have not gone abroad, they are living in India, but their parents are abroad or their relatives are abroad, then the parents or the relatives will be able to sponsor this candidate, okay? Let's look at who will be able to actually sponsor the candidate other than the parents. So parents will be able to sponsor. Other than them, uh, if the candidate's brother or sister is living abroad, they will be able to sponsor. Candidates, uncle or aunt, both from the father side and mother side, they'll be able to sponsor. Then grandparents, so grandparents uh, also from the father side and the mother side, they'll be able to sponsor. And finally, cousins will also be able to sponsor. This is first degree cousin, that is your uh, parents, actual brother or sisters, their children, they'll be able to sponsor you, okay? So this is the NRI eligibility, Let's look at the NRA documents, what all documents will be required. First document is the document claiming the sponsor is an NRA. So whoever is sponsoring you, uh, if your uncle is sponsoring you, grandfather is sponsoring you, or your cousin is sponsoring you, you need to produce a certificate saying the sponsor is an NRA. That is the first thing. Second thing is the relationship certificate between the sponsor and the candidate. So if your cousin is uh, sponsoring you, let's say, then you have to produce a certificate saying this is actually my first degree cousin. Okay, that relationship certificate is important. And third thing is the affidavit from the sponsor that they will sponsor the entire course. So they have to give a uh, affidavit saying that they will take care of the entire course fee that the candidate uh, is studying in. Okay, fourth thing is embassy certificate of the sponsor, certificate from the consulate. So uh, embassy certificate is also required from the sponsor and need scorecard of the candidate. So the candidate should produce the pr produce a need scorecard which every candidate will have. And uh, last year in round three there was a notice saying that a family tree is also required. So from the Tasildar you have to get a family tree uh, and uh, produce it along with the set of documents. So these are the complete set of documents. You can take a look at this. Hope you enjoyed this short video. To watch the full video on our website, the link is in the description.